<laughs> you ready? Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Houston. Whoa. tell you Kelly been getting her hair did for about five hours I dropped off at 10 o'clock at this hair place and it's two o'clock and they still in there doing her hair welcome back to Luciano TV shout out to the Luci gang salute appreciate y'all for watching appreciate y'all for tuning in me and Houston went to the mall earlier while we was waiting for her while I dropped her off and me and Houston went to the mall you know, we bought a couple things and I took him to go ride on a little uh, carousel, horse carousel. Uh, he had a great time. But I was sitting here in this car. I said, man, let me go and turn my camera on and talk to my uh, to my Lucci gang right quick. So what's up, man? What y'all doing today? Y'all getting to the money? Y'all been working hard? Shout out to everybody who just got home from work. Got to really, really be about your business, man. Got to have a clear mind, focused mind. It wasn't until I put down the alcohol and the drugs and the smoking all day and staying up all night and sleeping all day until I got focused. Good things started happening in my life. You know what I mean? When I started taking my business serious, then more good things, more opportunities came. You know what I'm saying? The harder I work, the more lucky I get. I don't got no problem working. I ain't got no problem staying busy. Sure. I like getting some money. I like my job. You know what I'm saying? If you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. Stop using your past to indulge in drugs and alcohol. You know what I'm saying? You got to let that shit go. Whatever's up inside of you that you're trying to bury down deep, you got to just let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? Can't be trying to drown that out with alcohol and drugs. Oh, my girl just left me. My wife just left me. My mama was on drugs. My daddy wasn't there. The babysitter touched me. Man, come on, man. Get over that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody had no perfect life. You know what I'm saying? You got to get over that shit, buddy. Stop blaming your past or why you ain't successful, why you can't have everything that God wants you to have. You can't have everything the universe wants you to have. Man, this world is filled with abundance. Look around, man. There ain't no shortage of money out here. They ain't running out of money. Ain't no time soon. Ain't nobody running out of money around here. Not in this country. Not in America. But you ain't gonna get it when you're sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. Can't be sitting around feeling sorry for yourself, making excuses for yourself. Oh, they sleeping on me. They sleeping on me, man. They just hating on me, man. They don't wanna see me shine. Stop doing that, man. That's the worst emotion you can have is feeling sorry for yourself. Stop sitting around feeling sorry for yourself, thinking the world owe you something, man. The world don't owe you nothing. Gotta get out there and get it, man. If they sleeping on you, wake their ass up. Me, personally, I can't afford to do no more fuck shit. I can't afford to, you know, cheat on my girl. I can't afford to leave my kids hanging. I can't afford to be on dope. I can't afford to be getting drunk. I can't afford any more hangovers because I didn't have my share of all that. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't got my karma for it. I didn't pay back, you know what I'm saying, in full. And I can't afford to take no more losses. I done took too many losses. I can't take no more. That's why I'm focused. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to kick it. I don't want to chill. You know what I'm saying? I'll chunk the deuce and keep it moving. We got some money. We can talk about something. But if it ain't about no money, I'm busy, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them streets. I'm out the streets. I don't want nothing to do with the streets. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can have them streets. Call me what you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be sitting back with my damn uh, seat warmers on. And my steering wheel warmers on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chilling under this panoramic roof. Hold up. Here she come, finally. Six and a half hours. I'm about to pee on myself. Hi. 
Y'all, I literally just ran out of that hair salon because I have been there since this morning. But look at my hair, I went lighter. Didn't even have a chance to blow dry it. Do you like it? I like it. I mean, it's gonna look good when it's time to blow dry it, but we gotta go. <laughs> I haven't ate since literally nine in the morning, so I am starving. It's what? What time is it? 3.20. It's 3.20, you guys. She been there since 9.30. I feel 10, so 9, bad. 12, 1, 2, 3, 6 hours. The girl was like, You really don't have no time to get a blow dry? I said, No, I have to go. Like, I have to be somewhere at 3 30 and it's 3 15. Gigi and <sighs> Annalie are going to be home from the school bus at 3 30. We got 10 minutes to get home. It looks nice, so I just have to brush it and blow dry it and then style it. So I'm excited because it's a new look. All right, Lucha Gang, I am back. As you can see, I actually got my hair done today. It looks like weird because it's like really, really blonde. The bottom half is like really, really blonde and then the top half is like toned a different color, but it's still cute. It still um, looks good. I literally just went over it with my blow dryer and my strainer. It really didn't like, I don't know. I didn't really put any effort into doing my hair right now. It was just a quick one too, but I wanted to come sit down outside of all the ruckus going on in the house. The kids are eating again. I don't know. They they complain when I cook. And then whenever I don't cook, they still complain. So, that's a different subject though. But, I ended up noticing that I got a package from Boohoo. I'm not going to open that right now. If you don't know what Boohoo is, it is a clothing store. Online clothing store from the UK. So I'm excited to open that and see all my goodies, but I'm not gonna open that right here in this video. I might save that as my first video on my channel. If you haven't followed my channel, my channel is Kelly Jean Vlogs. So go subscribe right now. I haven't dropped a video, no videos. So still waiting to get a thousand subscribers to drop that first vlog. Stay tuned for that ladies, because it's basically gonna be for y'all some girl time with you and me. But basically the topic that we wanted to talk to y'all about today on this vlog was about setting goals and getting them done. Growing up, I had a goal to go to college after high school. I waited a couple of years and then after like a year or two, I ended up signing up to the college. I was going to HCC. Long story short, it didn't work out for me. I, I just felt like it was too much for me. And then later on, once I got pregnant with Houston, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm pregnant again and when I got pregnant when I found out I was pregnant with Houston I Decided that I needed to do some soul-searching. I didn't know what I was gonna do in my life I had just put off my nail business because I had moved from outside the city and um, My clientele was in the city. So it was kind of tough to keep that going and then um, I was just sitting depending on Lucky and when I found out I was pregnant I was just kind of like I can't just depend on him for the rest of my life so I need to do something and I literally sat down and set some goals at the time I was on probation yes you guys I have messed up in the past as well but one of my goals was to get off probation before I had the baby and Luckily and thankfully, I accomplished that. I actually got off probation before I was due to get off. I was doing really good. I did all my community service. I did not find no excuses, you guys. I used to go, go to do community service with a big old belly because I had a whole bunch of hours I have to do. And not only that, I another one of my goals was to get into school. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. So I was like, why not? I would love to go in the medical field, get in the medical field. I wanted to work for a plastic surgeon. And you know what? Before I even got in school, that was my goal was to work with a plastic surgeon. I'm in school and I actually successfully graduated certified medical assistant. I did end up working in the medical field, which was another one of my goals when I was in school. I told myself that I was going to get a job working with a plastic surgeon. And sure enough, my job that I landed was a plastic surgeon. But that came from manifesting. That came from me telling myself, I am gonna work with a plastic surgeon. I am gonna work with a plastic surgeon. So when I knew it was time for me to finish school, it was like at the very end of my uh, school and I was about to start doing like my internship, which is you have to work for free. I started sending in my resume 
to nothing but plastic surgeons and i had it in my head that i just had to get a job if not go to like at least three or four interviews a week to try and you know weigh my options out but that was another one of my goals and i really just want to encourage y'all to get up and do it just do it okay and that's a lesson that you're gonna have to learn kids if you're watching this with your parents you're gonna have to learn this your whole entire life so we try and sit our kids down and tell them tell me five things that you're grateful for tell me five things that you're thankful for tell me five things that are you know you want in life give me five goals that you have in life so push yourself set goals get it done you guys you can do it we believe in you and i'm sorry if i'm ranting on but i really just wanted to sprinkle my little piece in there of advice of experience and motivation i love y'all so much what you doing here i heard him come in that's why i was like ending my little session <laughs> what y'all talking about in here man the reason why i'm in here by myself is because he was handling some business so now he's back i was telling him about my goals and how i got him done yeah so, is it your turn? To set some goals? To talk to them. It's too late. Man, uh, I hope y'all have a good night. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope Kelly gave a good speech. Uh, I hope you like my hair. Yeah, y'all like her hair. Man, she was at the <laughs> thing all day. I'm talking about six, seven hours at the hair place. Look how crazy it looks. It looks like a, like a Twix. You know when you crack a Twix open? And it's like dark and then caramel. Okay. Appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget, go to LucianoTV.com and copy some merch. Make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. So I cooked dinner today. I haven't been cooking lately because I've just been sick to my stomach and I've been trying to get spoiled. And Lucky here is over here complaining about my dinner. Boy, if you don't get your... He's so rude. Yeah, I'm just playing, baby. I'm eating it. I ate every single little bit of it, so it was good. He's just being picky. Look, I, we're gonna one day we're gonna have a cook off, me and Kelly. Yes, that'll be such a good vlog. And the loser gonna wash dishes. I always wash the dishes, so that's not a good. Um, and then you don't even come through with your punishment. I'm a loser. Ever. But I ain't gonna lose. I'm a win. Y'all stay tuned for that. We're going to do that tomorrow, tomorrow or Friday. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyways, you guys, today's vlog. Uh, 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 uh. Why? Whose drink was this? Bro, hurry up. It's about to be on me. See, mate. Nice. Get some more napkins than that. Y'all you know, doing the most. Gigi, the only one who needs a spotlight is me. Not even try it. <laughs> Oh, well, sorry guys, I didn't even know we were recording. I thought we ended up. Well, if you don't want your chicken, I'll eat your chicken, boy. It was good to me, don't play. What I was trying to get at is, today we were trying to encourage y'all to set goals and get them all done. You know what my goal is? To get a new table. Because they done messed up this table, it's all scratched up. It's just... It's, man, I, the paint's chipping off the side. I need a new kitchen table. That's my goal. In life, you have to set goals and accomplish them if you want to be successful. What is your problem, you guys? It's been a while since the kids been in the videos. Like, it's been a while since we did a video like this. But manifestation is a big thing you guys y'all have to think about it y'all have to think positive y'all have to really think that y'all are gonna do it and you gotta have a clear mind, in everything that you put your mind in and then you have to get out there and do it so make sure y'all stay motivated and positive and y'all are goal oriented you guys because that is the only way you gotta have a clear mind though man if you cloud in your mind with drugs and alcohol, you're not going to be able to manifest nothing. Gigi's like legit wants the whole shine. Here. <laughs> you might as well. I know. Mm -hmm. Here, babe. Hold it. I want to eat chicken. Go to LucianoTV.com and check out all the new merch. We got a whole new uh, website. Like this? 
and it's looking a little upgraded. It's looking a little upgraded. So check it out, luchanotv.com. We got uh, women's stuff. Hey, and people always be talking, all my big boys always talking about y'all need a 5X. Man, I got y'all on the 5X. Y'all go to luchanotv.com and check out. I got some shirts on there. I got some long sleeves. I got some sweaters. I got uh, baby clothes. Just go to luchanotv.com and come see about it.